What's up, everybody? So, we've got this North Korea situation going on, and uh, everybody's asking me, you said there's going to be no war with North Korea. Well, I believe there is going to be no war with North Korea. Um, it doesn't benefit anyone, really. Uh, so, in the end, what I think is happening right now is they're using North Korea as a saber rattling to scare people out of the stock market. Huh? Scare the weak people out of the stock market because I believe the stock market's going to rally higher. I don't see this as the all crashing event that sends the stock market plummeting to its final depths. Uh, no, I see that we're going through a currency crisis and the uh, best way to get people out of the markets to let them to let it uh, kind of shake off and reset again for another high is to rattle sabers and get people scared about war and then others get sh shaken out of the markets because they're scared that the markets are going to plummet and the strong hands are going to stay in because they know there's no other alternative to uh, the stock market. This is the moment I was waiting for when I'm talking about going to cash because I expect that the market's going to correct a little bit because it's just been straight up for a long time. Um, it's been about a month since our last correction. So um, it will correct and then it will continue higher. There's no other way for it to go. If you look at what's going on in Venezuela, uh, here you got their economy collapsing, their currency in the toilet, and the stock market's there constantly hitting new highs. So I don't expect any different here. Uh, and even though the stock market will be hitting uh, new highs relative to wealth preservation you will still be losing money now that's a concept that most people are not going to grasp you still have to find the proper asset to pl plow your wealth into in order to preserve your wealth and the stock market is not that mechanism or that asset or that vehicle uh, you still have to figure out what that will be um, my I, I still believe in silver and I still believe in gold, but gold not as much because people are not as likely to be carrying around these big ass bricks everywhere they go and you know go shopping to the grocery store and plop down a one ounce bar of, uh, of gold to pay for all their groceries. How can you get change in one ounce or uh, one ounce coin or one ounce bar of gold when gold is at you know let's say it gets up to 10,000 an ounce? Well, there's no way they're gonna be able to make change. So, reality of it is gold is probably not gonna be the preservation of wealth. Although Asia is hoarding it still. So there are some countries around the world that consider gold a wealth preserver. But it appears that in America, we're the high tech society. So people are fleeing to Bitcoin. In my opinion, I see the uh, cryptocurrencies like tech stocks. You know, they're, they're gonna be going through their new rave kind of thing where everybody likes it's the trend of the day everybody's jumping into it but in the end it's the traditional things that still will hold all the wealth they're gonna try to transfer us out of the uh, gold system but Asia and Russia and Saudi Arabia Middle East they're all hoarding gold and uh, so that tells me that that traditionally is still money and uh, but just not here in America right now and it'll only be until the end that people figure it out but uh, for right now, like I said, expect the stock market to go higher. I don't see uh, us going to war with North Korea. They're just rattling sabers. All right, take care.